सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन मैं हूँ मनीष मिश्रा एंड गाइज इन टूडे सेशन आई विल ब्रिंग टू यू सम मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज विच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द ई एस आई सेक्शन ऑफ आर बी आई ग्रेड बी सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्राइस दिस बेल आइकन एंड बाई डूइंग दिस यू विल गेट ऑल द नोटिफिकेश So you have to consider some statements regarding global health estimates 2019. So WHO has released this global health estimate 2019, and you have to identify the correct statements. Okay, so let's talk about these estimates, guys. So first of all, this report talks about longevity of life, comparing uh, the longevity in the year 2019 with the uh, longevity in the year 2000. 2000 and 2019 में जो life की longevity थी उसको compare किया गया है in this report. and according to this report guys there is a growing trend for longevity as in 2019 people were living 6 years longer than in 2000 yani 2000 ke comparison mein 2019 mein jo longevity hai wo 6 saal zyada hai which means people people are living 6 years longer than in 2000 than they are living in 2019 okay and global average of longevity was 73 years in 2019 as compared to 67 in 2000. Okay, 2000 में कितना था? It was 67. While in 2019, it's 73 years. And this report also talks about guys non-communicable diseases. So according to this report, seven out of the world's top ten causes of death are due to the non-communicable diseases. पूरी दुनिया में top ten deaths में से सात deaths ऐसी हैं जो कि non-communicable diseases से होती हैं. और 2000 में कितनी थी? It was four out of ten. But in 2019, it has been increased to Seven out of ten. Okay, and these are some other facts about the non-communicable diseases. Like heart diseases represent sixteen percent of total deaths across the world. And talking about the diabetes, so deaths from diabetes increased by seventy percent globally. जो diabetes है वो बहुत serious issue होता जा रहा है globally. पूरे दुनिया में diabetes के cases बढ़ते जा रहे हैं. And if we compare the year two thousand and two thousand and nineteen, so there is a rise of seventy percent cases of diabetes. If we compare two thousand and two thousand and nineteen. कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज की वजह से दस में से छह मौतें होती है इन द लॉ इन द लो इनकम कंट्रीज ओके एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट निमोनिया इट इज निमोनिया Wrong. Ran as the fourth leading cause of death in the low-income country, or you can say across the world also. AIDS dropped from the eighth leading cause of death in 2000 to the 19th in 2000, which means uh, the world is uh, working good towards AIDS. And talking about tuberculosis, so it is no longer in the global top ten, falling from seventh place in 2000 to 13th in 2019, which means we are also doing good in the uh, in controlling the uh, prevalence of TB. Okay. So that's it about this report, guys. इसमें आपको इतना ही पढ़ना है, इससे ज़्यादा पढ़ने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. Now let's uh, come back to the question. So you have to identify the correct statements. Global average of longevity has been increased from 67 in 2000 to 73 in 2019. Yes, this is absolutely correct. In if we compare 2000 and 2019, so people are living six years longer than in 2000. Okay. Non-communicable diseases are six out of top ten causes of deaths globally. This is not guys six out of top ten. This is seven out of top ten, which was four out of top ten in the year two thousand. While it is currently seven out of top ten in the year two thousand and nineteen, which means this statement is incorrect. Communicable diseases are at seven out of top ten causes. This is again six out of top ten. Okay, this is six out of ten uh, 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 causes of deaths in low income countries, which means this statement is also incorrect. Therefore, guys, the correct answer should be option D, only one. Okay. So I hope guys, this question is uh, clear. And now let's move on to question number two. What is the objective of recently launched Lancet Citizens Commission for Universal Health Coverage? So this commission guys has been launched for India. Okay, remember this. This commission has been launched by uh, launched for India, and this is this commission is for universal health coverage. So I think in the question itself, the answer is given. The answer to this question should be to achieve the universal health coverage in India because it is only talking about the universal health coverage. So that is why, जो बाकी है, वो जो बाकी ये options हैं, ये के ये universal health coverage के अंदर ही आ जाने चाहिए. So that is why the correct answer should be option B to achieve the 
universal health coverage in India. Okay, and talking more about this commission. So the basic objective is to enable participatory public engagement to develop the citizens' blueprint for the implementation of universal health coverage. So basically, its objective is to achieve the to uh, achieve the universal health coverage in India. And it has been launched online. Remember this. And who are the participants? The very famous journal, the Lancet, and the Lakshmi Mittal and Family South Asia Institute. So this institute and the journal Lancet has released this commission. Okay. And these are the four principles of this commission. Number one, UHC covers all health concerns. Okay. Prevention and long-term care are the keys. Then concern is financial protection for all health costs and aspiring for a health system that can be accessed by all to enjoy the same quality. Okay, so these these are the four principles of this commission and this commission, guys. The participant institutes are the participant organizations are the journal, uh, the Lancet and the Lakshmi Mittal and Family South Asia Institute. Okay, so therefore here the correct answer should be option B to achieve the universal health coverage in India. And now moving on to question number three. With which e-commerce company Confederation of Indian Industry has signed an MOU to train MSMEs in building and scaling their business in India? So remember, this MOU guys has been signed between Amazon India and CII Confederation of Indian Industry, and this MOU was signed as the 17 CII SME Global Global Business Summit. So there was a summit. During which this MOU was signed, and this MOU guys is to train MSMEs in ten states of country for scaling up their business. Okay, so our country's ten states should be joined randomly, and there, there are MSMEs who have to scale up business. Their business to scale up for this MOU was signed between Amazon and CII. Before this, in January 2020, Amazon India made some announcements that they will digitize. That they will digitize. 10 million MSMEs, 10 million MSMEs they will digitize and also they will create 1 million jobs. They will create 1 million jobs by the year 2025. And also one huge announcement. Number one is this, number two is this, and number three third announcement was they will enable 10 billion dollars, 10 billion dollars for promoting exports. Okay, so these are the three announcements that were made by Amazon in the year uh, 2020 in the month of January. And for this, this MOU has been signed between MOU uh, between Amazon and CII. Okay, so therefore the correct answer should be option D, Amazon. And Amazon CEO guys, we all know Jeff Bezos, Paytm, Vijay Shekhar Sharma, and Snapdi Kunal Behel, and of course Flipkart, it's Kalyan Krishna Murthy, Kalyan Krishna Murthy, and Mintra, it's Amar Nagram, Amar. Nagram is the CEO of Mitra. Okay, so these are the CEOs, and the correct answer is what option D Amazon. And now let's move on to question number four. According to WHO UNICEF report on wash provisions, what stands for? Can you tell me the full form of wash? Kuch din pehle apne wash se related ek question kiya tha. Write down in the comments the full form of wash. How many people across the world are at the risk of diseases due to lack of wash provisions? So guys, hygiene pe bahut zada dhyan diya ja raha hai after the COVID-19 jo पैंडेमिक की वजह से हाइजीन के ऊपर सभी देशों का काफी ज्यादा फोकस है सो so, उसी के लिए दिस रिपोर्ट हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय डब्ल्यूएचओ एंड यूनिसेफ ओके सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस रिपोर्ट एंड द रिपोर्ट द टाइटल इज फंडामेंटल्स फर्स्ट यूनिवर्सल वाटर सैनिटेशन एंड हाइजीन सर्विसेज इन हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज फॉर सेफ क्वालिटी केयर ओके एंड दीस आर द की पॉइंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस रिपोर्ट 1.8 बिलियन पीपल आर एट द रिस्क ऑफ कोविड-19 पैंडेमिक और अदर डिजीजेस ड्यू टू द लैक ऑफ वॉश provisions okay and this report has covered 165 countries across the world total kitni countries 165 countries ko cover up kiya gaya tha in this report and according to this report also globally there are one in four healthcare services which has no water services char mein se ek global healthcare service uh, healthcare services aisi hai hamare puri duniya mein jahan pe koi bhi water services nahi hai then one in three healthcare services does not have access to hand hygiene one in ten healthcare services has no sanitation service. So, in any way, the sanitation does not have a healthcare facility. Mein hai. And the situation is worse, of course, in all the 47 least developed countries. Okay. So, this is about this report. And, guys, the most important thing that you have to remember in this report is this point. Around 1.8 billion people uh, are under the lack of wash provisions. Okay. 
So the question says, according to WHO and UNICEF report on wash provision, how many people? So the number of people who are under threat, uh, who are under the risk of risk of diseases due to lack of wash provisions is how many? 1.8 billion. Option A will be the correct answer in WHO. We already is headquartered in Geneva, and Dr. Tedros Adhanom is the chief. And who is the chief scientist at WHO? It's Dr. Swamya Swaminathan, who is of course an Indian. And talking about UNICEF, it is headquartered in New York. Henrietta Four is the current chief. Okay. So guys, that's it for the session today. These are the four questions for today. I hope all the questions are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next session. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.